Okay, well you've got a very difficult approach shot. There's nothing more important than making sure you get the right strike on your irons. I'm on the ninth hole here at Dundonald Lynx and I've got to go over water, over a bunker. The flag is cut right on the very, very front as well. The last thing I want to try and do, the last thing I want to do here is bail out, is to get worried, get nervous. I haven't got time for that. This ball needs to be struck pure. So one of the best drills I've got for you, it's so, so simple. All you need to do, it requires your trail arm, okay? So if you're a right-handed golfer, it's your right arm. All we're gonna do, we're gonna put the palm of your hand facing the ground, left arm behind your back. You're gonna rotate, so this left shoulder, so your lead shoulder goes down to the golf ball and your, your trail palm goes to the sky. Once you're in this position, I want you to get the feel that the palm is gonna push down towards the ground as your left shoulder or your lead shoulder starts to turn up to the sky. So when we're in this position now, my lower body is out to the target, my trail arm, my palm is pointing down to the golf ball. And if I just put my golf club into my palm and take my grip, look at how my club head is behind the ball, okay? So my club head is behind the ball, the palm's on the ground. So when you see the hands in front of the golf ball and the arms are working down into the golf ball, it's gonna help you get compression on the ball, okay? So we all want to get compression into the ball. This is a great drill, something you could do at home. Lead arm behind your back, get that depth, palm up to the sky, and just push it down into the ground, and then you're gonna rotate up through the ball. So that way we start to get the arms working downwards. Get compression into the golf ball. A divot is generally what will follow because we manage to hit down into the turf and then rotate through. Your divots don't want to be too deep. You want to have an entrance and an exit to the divot. So if you've only really got an entrance, then like a what I call like a brick wall at the end of it, where you just kind of smash down into the ground and not been able to exit through, then you'll have probably just not rotated enough. So you'd have gone down and then just got stuck. So this is where the importance of this lead shoulder comes through, because as you're coming down, this lead shoulder needs to start to work up. So you notice how I've got some nice height in this shoulder, and then I square up with the shoulders through the shot, okay? So you're feeling like the palm's at the sky, lead shoulder works to the target, palm goes to the ground, lead shoulder works up. So you get that nice rotation. You're spiraling your body from the height, working down, and then you're able to get the compression on the golf ball from there. And that is where it's so important to feel that type of shot. That was amazing. And I'll be honest, it's all over the flag. It's actually stiff to the flag. Couldn't have gone any better. So you're probably thinking, does that work for every club in the bag? And yes, it does, is, is the answer in short. If I've got my nine iron like I did on the last hole, the ball position's in the center. I'm trying to get the feel that my hands are in front of the golf ball here, and that's me compressing down into the ball, and I've got my hands forward of the ball at impact. Now, if I've got a six iron in my hand, which I do now, my ball position is going to be more there and further away from my body. So now the angle between my lead, my lead wrist and the club head has not got quite as much shaft lead, but I'm still compressing down into the golf ball because of the way that I've moved my golf swing and the, the way I practice this drill and making sure that my palm's up to the sky and then it's working down into the ground that way. Now with the driver, believe it or not, it is the same. Again, I'm further away from the golf ball my ball position is further towards my lead foot. So as I've come into this point here, I've now released. So I've released it at the, almost the same point as my nine iron, but the relationship between club head and my lead wrist is different because of the ball position and also the distance away from the golf ball that I am because of the driver. So the movements are always gonna be the same. And this is where this drill is just so fantastic, so simple. It's not an exact science, obviously, but it's, gonna, it's there to give you the feels of where you want to try and feel, where you want that, that lead shoulder to start to work up through impact, and how you want the trail arm and the trail hand to work back down into the golf ball through impact as well. And it obviously makes you still rotate through the shot, which is vital. So I've got a six iron. We try and get that same feeling, try and compress into the ball. Oh, like that. I was out in the middle of the club face. It's an extraordinarily strong wind today. 
That's finished short right from 180 with a 200 yard golf club. Incredible. So there, down, clear, get this lead shoulder up so you can get through the golf ball. Not quite as good a strike, I'll be honest, but still pretty good. Where are we? Short. Unbelievable. Scot Scottish weather is such good fun to play golf in. It's brilliant. But my word, it's, it's tough. It's a good test though. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Vitally important you get on this drill. You could do it at home, you could do it in the mirror. You don't even need a mirror, just do it at home. You've got to make sure you get in the hands into that right position there. Get that lead shoulder up through the ball and it will make you a better ball striker. I guarantee it. So that's it, I guarantee it. Just, if it doesn't, you can unsubscribe to the channel, I will let you. But I guarantee you, it will make you a better ball striker. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also hit the like if you do enjoy my content and I will see you again in a future videos, I am sure.